From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA Late, America's most watched show for financial news in prime time with breaking news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. Lots of breaking news. Over the next one hour broadcast, we'll go over the three stimulus packages heating up and the no less than three major checks that are landing in your hands. A $6,500 stimulus check now landing, a fifteen dollars to $80,000 stimulus check now landing as well. And MSA checks of $24,000 happening as well. But over the next one hour broadcast, we're gonna go over the breaking news of a lot of breaking elements that you need to know. Where this economy is going, where it has stalled up, and where it's likely to revert to a slower growth rate in the near future. We have breaking news tonight on the Build Back Better Act as we may be in a war session, not recession. And this is as costs may go higher. The Consumer Price Index released tomorrow and the White House signaling tonight, it's going to be bad. The Federal Reserve now indicating that the 10-year Treasury note topped 2.76% today. And this comes as China is going on to potential lockdown. Major trouble internationally tonight on that Chinese economy because it will cause supply chain for the United States. Then we'll be looking back at six stimulus. We thought this would happen with Macron, France, and Germany, but Macron not winning convincingly that election overnight. What does this mean for six stimulus? I'll have the latest details tonight. Plus, the CPI and PPI number released from China overnight, and it signals that the Chinese inflation is very bad at the moment. We could be next. Then the price of oil dropping dramatically today. Was it because of a new deal with the White House? Or was it again because of China and new inflationary concerns and supply chain issues at issue tonight? Then we'll be looking to seven stimulus. Student loan debt forgiveness tonight with a major developing detail, a brand new breaking announcement minutes ago from the White House. Guess what? Your debt will be wiped clean for any default status, status and put back to normality. All the breaking details on that tonight, your debts are not going to be forgiven, but they will not be in default. Then we'll be looking at what's going on with the Federal Reserve and recession. And of course, we'll be looking at your big money and stay to the very end of this one hour broadcast because over the next one hour, we'll be going to a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh stimulus package. The big checks that are landing in viewers' hands and where this economy is, is going and isn't going. The CPI number and PPI number being released in the next 40 hours, but we have indication tonight they're going to be very bad numbers. What does this mean for your wallet? What does it mean for your stimulus? I have all the details from the shores of Santa Monica to the shores of Black Sea. The big numbers, the big details, the big economy, and the big stimulus checks now landing. It's a big night with a lot of breaking news. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's evenings, and it starts right now. And good evening, everybody. It's a big night for April 11th, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Breaking news across the board tonight on that student loan debt forgiveness, on the F on the SS300, and also on Build Back Better Act Plus Six Stimulus. There's not a single stimulus package tonight that does not have breaking news. And over the next one hour broadcast of Evening Delight, you're going to see why supply chain is the reoccurring issue of why this economy may likely go from where it is to actually worse. We'll go over all that details in tonight's Evening's L8, but first get your pen and paper ready because over this one hour broadcast, we're going to get lots of checks. Checks that have been sent off on Joe Biden, checks that are landing in people's hands, and let's get a preview of those checks coming up later in this video. A $6,500 stimulus check now law. If you have gotten it, have you gotten it? Stay with me. I'm going to get you that check in this recording. A fifteen dollars to $80,000 stimulus check now landed. Have you gotten it? Stay with you. I'm going to show you how to get it. And then an MSC check, the biggest you've seen in the history of this channel. 24,000, 45,000, 150,000. I'll show you the big success stories. If you haven't become a member, become a member right today and get ready for those big checks coming up later in this video. We have a lot to cover tonight, folks. So sit back, get your pen and paper ready because there's a lot coming up in tonight's recording. First, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act 
the breaking news on that front, and then the SS300. A lot of details tonight. And we're starting with the Build Back Better Act so you understand the checks at issue. The Build Back Better Act is the fourth stimulus recon. Currently in the Senate by the Democrats and likely to go to a vote in the month of April. There are three clusters of checks and three add-ons of checks that pay you a lot of money, fifteen dollars to $80,000 to pay for your bills. Let's go over all those incredible checks in the Build Back Better Act and those three add-ons in there as well. Fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks. Let's look at the first cluster of checks with a big surprise coming in just a second. Hazard pay got it in there in that first cluster for my earned income essential workers, expanding the EIC under third stimulus, under fourth stimulus as well. $3,600 check for the young children got in there. $4,000 of elder care checks got in there. Money for the young children plus home repairs if you live in a low-income community, totally free. College students got a $550 check, great for them. $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, Wow. The first add-on of checks is $25,000 from Maxine Waters. She got this incredible check in there that will pay you money for your purchase of your first home. At the time of escrow, before you close on escrow on that first home, the federal government will give you a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. It's incredible. And that is the first of three add-ons to the Build Back Better Act. Let's go now right into the second cluster of checks with a big surprise tonight in prime time. Pay leave. A lot of money got in there for that. What is paid leave? It is if you have to stay home due to sickness or illness, how much does it pay? A lot. $46,000 a year. W-2, 1099. If you make $75,000 or more, you get about $1,700 a week. $35,000, then you get about $800 a week. $15,000, about $400 a week. And that is the wonders of paid leave. You have to stay home from work to take your son or daughter to the hospital. Then they you they get a check on behalf of the on behalf of the entire household household. But as we turn to that second item in that second cluster, what a big surprise! Home repairs in the Build Back Better Act in second cluster. No, not anymore. The latest breaking news tells tonight is that it's been taken out, and it's a check. That's a law. And viewers have gotten it. I introduce you to the check A of check A, B, and C, which are all law. No vote needed. No act of Congress needed. They're law. And viewers have gotten it. And I'm going to show you how to get that check in just a second. A $6,500 check became a law and taken out of that second stimulus, that second cluster of fourth stimulus, just days ago. How do you get the $6,500 check? It's coming up in just a second. Then, also a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check in the Bill Back Better Act, also taken out by the President of the United States, made a law by executive action. Let's go right back into Build Back Better Act where we left off at that second cluster with that paid leave and those big monies for the home repairs to weatherize your home. Let's now go into the incredible details at issue with that third Second add-on of checks, a little bit less than $250 billion got in there. From Bob Gacy, the big money for free home health care for seniors and people with disabilities. Wow, great news across the board. Then, the, then what's important to know is that they then got in there a third cluster of checks, free and for all checks, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and then seniors getting lots of checks, dental, vision, Hearing and then lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, plus the Medicaid gap fix that will provide a workaround plan that will provide insurance to uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states, which is par for the course when we're talking about adding checks to the recon. The other checks that they represent they would add in there are IRS MSC. IRS MSC, how much is that and who would get it? The legislators represent that if you got a third stimulus check, you get this one under Build Back Better Act as well. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. Double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you get it as well. It's not income. It's not taxable. Offered nationwide, going off the most recent tax return, a direct deposit. Listen, that's how you get paid. Then how many checks and how much? They represent they would pay them $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months, which adds up to $7,000. But the big, huge news tonight is you don't have to wait for four stimulus MSC checks of $7,000. You can get check C. Check C is law. And check C, my friends, is an MSC check of not $7,000 over six months, 
It's averaging $2,000 over 12 months. $24,000. 300% higher than the Build Back Better Act proposes. This is actually a law. Check C is paying many viewers on average $45,000. Some viewers on average $150,000. Those MSE checks were actually enormous. A lot more than Build Back Better Act are coming up later in this recording. Check A. Check B. And check C, I'll go over how to get these three checks coming up in this latest video. If you haven't become a member, become right tonight. Now, let's go right into Build Back Better Act's breaking news tonight, and then the SS300 as well. Build Back Better Act getting a lot of breaking news tonight, which is that a series of new analysts, including David Roach, who's an independent strategist, says that the situation tonight is not a recession, but a war session. Wow, what is a war session, in his words? It's unlike a recession, because a recession, usually inflation goes down and your cost of goods go down. He says they're still going up. We've never seen anything like this. Where are we tonight on the Build Back Better Act? The latest economic data is all misses, folks, with the exception of the unemployment numbers. Over the last two weeks, when we look at economic numbers that come out, if they're weak or strong, I tell you, strong means we're looking for growth of 7% and we comes at a 9%. Weak means we're looking for 7% comes at 5%. Miss means it's lower, beat means it's higher. Well, we've had miss after miss, week after week, war, lower, poor numbers with the exception of unemployment, where it's the lowest number for unemployment since the 1960s. 166,000 new unemployment claims last week, and only 1.7 million continuing unemployment claims compared to 17 million a year ago this week. So collectively, the data is very bad. Minutes ago, the White House advised the American public that tomorrow the CPI number will be released. And on Wednesday, the PPI number is going to be released. And what did the White House say? Get ready for horrible numbers. I've been telling you that a long way. Those horrible numbers means that inflation is going to be very high. But in just a second, I'm going to explain to you why what Jay Powell is doing is not going to bring it down. Let's go over to that Build Back Better Act then. With the breaking news tonight, there's more indication that Build Back Better Act will get done sooner than later. Because they do stimulus when the economy is stalling up. The economy is stalling up. Let's go over the data and the economic numbers tonight. One after another, the economic numbers are weak, poor, or not as high as predicted going into the announcement. One after another, they're all not doing well. The GDP, then a gross national product, the U.S. economy, is currently tracking at 6.9%. We were looking at 7.1%. Miss. Then we have the number of new non-farm payroll jobs created last month, miss by nearly 60,000. The numbers continue to grow across the board. The CPI and PPI numbers expect to be very high, hot, means that inflation is going higher and the economy is stalling up. In the meantime, the inversion curve continues to be across the board. This is signaling we're going to recession. That's also not good. The 10-year Treasury note today on Monday, April 11th, continued to surge 2.76%. Horrible number. It was 1.88% just a few days ago, and the 5- and 30-year rates remain inverted. All bad economic news. This is good reason for the Build Back Better Act. Now, let's turn to... SS300 right now, and it tees up that situation as well. What is SS300? It was Joe Biden's promise to swap cola for inflation. Swapping out cola for inflation locks in at a higher price point if inflation is hot. Well, it has been hot. Is it hotter tonight? Let's explain where it was in December. All last year, the Federal Reserve got it very wrong. I said inflation was going to come in at 8% in December and stay hot indefinite and stay hot for several months. Federal Reserve said no, 2% one month. They were very wrong. I said it then. Now we now know they were wrong. When did inflation come in in December? 8%. January, 8%. The March number will get an indication tomorrow as the CPI number is released. And the day after that, Wednesday, the producer price index number is going to be released. But we already have a preview tonight. They're going to be bad numbers. Bad numbers, I mean, too much inflation is going to be higher. If that's higher, that's good for your SS300 because you swap out COLA for inflation right today. You raise your benefits off $200 more per month. Not just this month, not just this year, but a lifetime. Remember, I want that swap to happen before they lower inflation. So who's trying to lower inflation and will it work? Tonight we have a lot of breaking news on that front as well. The guy who's trying to reduce it is this guy, j Powell. j Powell's trying to reduce inflation by raising interest rates. But does it work? I had told you over a week ago that whatever J-Powell's doing with this will not work. 
Number one, what did Jay Powell say in February? He said he was going to do a quarter basis point increase on interest rates. Okay. Then he changed and said he's going to do a half basis point potentially. All right, that's a little bit more. Then he said he may do half basis point for a while. That's even more. What is the latest data tonight? The latest data tonight is that if you look at the ports, if you look at the trains, if you look at the shipping, or you look at any of the, ch the trains coming in from across the country, there is major supply chain. Supply chain is getting the product out of the factory in Japan or China, getting it on the ship, putting it on the train, and then delivering it to Kansas. If you can't deliver the product, you have a supply chain. And if you have a supply chain, the prices go up. You have what's called inflation. Very simple concept, right? So if you have inflation, how do you deal with it? Raising interest rates does not work. Over the last month, I've been telling you viewers of this channel that if j Powell tries to raise interest rates to battle inflation caused by supply chain, he's not going to win. And tonight, more analysts, no less than three new analysts tonight, said the same thing. Why? Because you can't get the product from where it was made to you. That is supply chain disruption. Whether it's a trucker or a train or a barge, whether it's across the country, across the globe, you can't get the product to where it's going. It's called supply chain disruption. And the raising of interest rates doesn't solve that. The raising, the supply chain issue is causing inflation, causing your higher prices goods. And when Jay Powell comes in more aggressively, he doesn't solve inflation. The analysts are now saying, here's another problem is that the inflation is also being caused tonight because of major new COVID tightening of policies in China. China's suffering a new lockdown or a new spread of the subvariant of Omicron. And that subvariant is not causing complete lockdown in the country, but major disruption, again, for supply chain. And this comes as consumer confidence in China is dropping dramatically. 31% of Chinese citizens polled by a new Morgan Stanley report tonight says they don't think they're going to make rent this month. 31% of the entire country says they don't think they can make rent this month. This is really bad news, folks, because this is the country that supplies the products that go across the country. If you don't get those products, so what does it mean for you? This comes as CPI numbers out of China that were released today are very hot. Remember, I just told you our CPI and PPI number released Tuesday and Wednesday. The CPI number came in at 1.5% compared to 1.2. Beat, meaning it was too hot, meaning inflation was too big. And then the China number for PPI, 8.3 versus 7.9%. This is because they can't get the product shipped. And this means the costs are taking a major hit, says Raman Shalats, portfolio manager at Vonal's Asset Management tonight. What does this mean for your SS300? What it means for your SS300 first is the following. One, I don't think at all that j Powell will get inflation down to 1.9% by the end of the year. So I think you're okay with that 4% by the end of the year, if not higher. That's an additional $100 on top of your existing benefits. Well, what about right now? What if Joe made that swap from cold to inflation right tonight? I think the inflation rate is higher than 8% tonight, folks. I think we may be tracking to 8 plus. And guess what? The latest data tonight signals that because supply chain is not being solved, because Putin's war of aggression against Ukraine is going to go into a third month, because China is going to a COVID restrictions, a lockdown, whatever you call them, because of Omicron subvariant, supply chain is going to get worse. Inflation is going to go higher. Consumer confidence is getting weaker today. A new report out of the Federal Reserve just released some minutes ago. As consumers now understand that inflation is really getting very bad. If that's the situation, then guess what? As inflation continues to swirl high, that's good news for your SS300 because that would lop, lock in the 8%, $200 more per month because it's all being caused because of this supply chain situation. What's important to know is that it's a double whammy. First, Jay Powell does not have the tools at the Federal Reserve to solve the situation, in my opinion. If he can't solve the situation, the Federal Reserve chair, then what does that do for inflation it remains hot? If inflation remains hot, then if you swap COLA for inflation, right now for SS300, you lock in great benefits. What does it mean for Build Back Better Act? It means the economy will stall up. It means the economy will not get the type of movement we thought it was going to get, and that's big news for Build Back Better Act, which will see the gross national product of the U.S. economy, potentially 6.9% tonight, dropping day after day, week after week. Many analysts now think that the growth rate of the U.S. economy may be flat by the end of the year. Remember, recession means negative growth. Flat growth is just on the cusp of 
recession. So what's important to know is when there's checks available, you want to cash those checks. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over six channels. We have major banking details tonight. As Macron did not win that election overnight. Macron is the president of France. And we know about that six stimulus is the allegiance of the progressive alliance trifecta of the chancellor out of Germany, Joe Biden out of the United States, and Macron out of France. But he didn't win overnight. So what does that mean for six stimulus? And what does it mean for his future? Are the latest details on that? Also heating up for six stimulus. A major drop in that oil prices overnight. Was it because of a major deal done by the White House? Or was it not? I'll be looking at that situation. Then the commodities market. Then, we got great news from the White House on student loan debt repayment. Your debts are going to be removed from default. This is not student loan debt forgiveness, but it's the next best thing as the president is mulling over that student loan debt forgiveness for a few more weeks. We got those details and more. Plus, we'll be looking at the big developing details of where this economy is going in the next 48 hours with that CPI and PPI number. But first, coming up after the commercial break are three checks. And those are the big checks that are available right now. They're law right now. They're paying right now. They are landing in people's hands right now. And they've been sent out by Joe Biden right now. A $6,500 check became law on March 31st. How do you get that stimulus check? It's coming up at the commercial break. A fifteen dollars to $80,000 stimulus check became law March 4th. Have you gotten it? If you haven't, stay with me. I'm going to go over how you get it after the commercial break. And then an MSC check, $24,000, upwards of $150,000 of MSC checks. Now law, going out, automatic. How do you get it? It's coming up after the commercial break. We'll go over all those incredible checks. But first, before the commercial break, make sure you become a member. The membership link's at the top of the channel, the pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. It features all the details about how to get check A, B, and C. It's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. In the second half of the video, we'll go over those three checks. Then that latest breaking news tonight on student loan debt pay repayment. We'll be going over what that supply chain is causing for six stimulus. What's going on with the big reform for Social Security and SSI and SSDI? And we'll go, of course, going over those big checks. We're just getting started. As America's most watched show in prime time for financial news is heating up. Plus, we'll have my indication of where this economy is going. Are we in recession or already heading to a worse recession than initially thought? I have all those details and more. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As America's most watched show in prime time for financial news continues on evenings for April 11th, 2022. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. In a big evening for April 12th, excuse me, April 11th, 2022. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, breaking news tonight. As supply chain disruption out of China is really causing the U.S. economy to tailspin after we suffered supply chain out of Russia. 
major developing details tonight and why that GP, why that CPI and PPI number tomorrow will not look pretty. We'll go over the latest details on that front. It impacts your six stimulus, which we'll be going over in the second half of this video. Oil, wheat, and grain, what you need to know, and how it impacts the GDP and the U.S. economy. Then we go into the breaking news tonight. Seven stimulus, great news. Out of nowhere, seven stimulus will have student loan debt come out of default. Wow, what does this mean for you? All the latest details in the big second half of tonight's recording. But first, we're going to start with those big checks. Check A, B, and C. Are you ready to get those big checks? I think you are. These checks are law. They have been sent out. Joe Biden has sent them out. And once you get approved, they are automatic landing in your bank account. So how do you get these incredible checks? They're huge. Across the landscape of this tonight's recording, across the landscape of tonight's viewers, you qualify for one or all of the, these three checks. So get your pen and paper ready because over this one hour broadcast, we're going to go over all this big money. And this is the part of the recording where we go over how to get those checks. A, B, and C. A is a check that became law just a few days ago. B became a law earlier. And then C was law in 2021. And they're still paying out. So let's look at the three checks right now. Check A, B, and C. A is a $6,500 check to weatherize your home. Became a law on March 31st, 2022, and it's huge. Then, check B became a $15,000 to $80,000 stimulus check on March 4th to do things to your home. And then, check C became a $24,000 to upwards of $150,000 MSC check back in 2021. Every viewer of this channel who's watching tonight's recording, whether you're a renter or homeowner, you get one or all of these checks. And with that, let's start with check A. Check A. Is a $6,500 check? Well, in some states, they're allowing you upwards of $12,000. It's a forced stimulus check taken out by Joe Biden from the forced stimulus recon becoming law just days ago. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. And the great news is that it qualifies for you under the same income qualification as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. If you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, retiree SSA benefits, you can get as well. The last qualification is you own a home. So how do you get this incredible check? First, you become a member. The link is under the video's description at the top of the chat as well. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Star Time via the YouTube alert system. Go right into the newsletter and the second or third line right under the price of oil tonight is that check A. You see that check A, and it's going to describe the homeowner's weatherizing grant check. It's going to give you more details about it than not featured in this video. Then it's going to give you the link, the website that you go in and apply. You click the link, you go into the federal website. Then you choose your state, like Alabama. Then you choose the Alabama weatherizing grant check, and there you go. You go right and apply. It's a grant, meaning it's free money. It's not income. You don't have to repay it. Does not disqualify you from benefits. It's not a loan. Does not require a credit check. And ready to pounce, Purple Hawks. As soon as it became law, March 31st, I immediately featured for the viewership of the channel. Check B, the same thing. As soon as it became law, March 4th, I featured for the viewership of the channel. It has now been law over a month. So that is why you cannot wait to become a member. Get that membership signed up right tonight. Get that newsletter right tonight because these checks have been sitting around for over a month. Let's go now to check B. Been law for over a month. And what is this check? First, it pays a lot of money. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Whoopee! That is the biggest payout of a darn check we've seen in a very long time on this channel. Average view of the channel has gotten sixty-six thousand dollars from it. It is a four stimulus check taken out from the Build Back Better Act by Joe Biden, and the income qualification is the same as a third. A single individual seventy-five thousand less, you get it. Married couple hundred fifty thousand less, you get it. If you're on benefits like Social Security, you can get it as well. It's called the Homeowners Grant Check. And if you go into the membership newsletter, you see the complete name. You see more of the description because guess what? It pays for great things like property taxes. You click the link, it sends you into the national website. Then you see a map, you choose your state like Tennessee. You go right in and pounce and get those big checks. And there you go. That is the fifteen dollars to $80,000 check. So far, we've gone over check A and B. Now let's go over check C. But first, let's do a recap. If you're a homeowner, you can get check A, B, and C. You heard me right, and. And if you're a renter, you can get check C. Here we go. 
You ready for the incredible news about Chexi and a little bit of tough love as well? Let's go over the details tonight. Check C is an MSC check, a monthly stimulus check, made law under third stimulus last year. In recent days, the viewers of this channel have gotten $2,000 a month for 12 months. That's $24,000. But many viewers got over $45,000 on this last year and got more money as well. How do you get this check? First, let's go over the success stories so you understand how big these checks are. These are huge checks, and I've been doing these checks for now over a year and a half. This channel approaches its two-year anniversary on April 25th. Let's look at the checks viewers got from this early on. $27,000 for rent. Then when we look at the utilities, $7,000 for utilities. Many viewers, over $15,000 for utilities. When we look at the combo items, it started at $32,000. It grew as time went on to $50,000. Mark went back to $100,000. Lorraine, she was at $105,000. She went up to $120,000. So how do you get these monstrous MSC checks? Get your pen and paper ready. Because unlike check A and B that involves going to a website, check C is very simple. It involves going to your phone. You're going to pick up the phone and call a series of places to get funded. And let's go over the details right now. You're going to reach out to a series of places. How many places? You are going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Hold up. If you're a member, you're also going to reach out to your state hall and your state housing authority. And guess what also? The nonprofits. Wow. Because the nonprofits are featured in the membership newsletter. And they give you more items to get money from. Remember to say the keywords because of COVID. Don't say stimulus check or waivable check or lobster shorts. They don't know what that is. It burns their eyes when they think about it. Do multiple applications and get that money in there for as long as you can. Then... Open that membership newsletter because guess what? The members newsletter has in there the nonprofits. That allows you more places to reach out to. That'll bring you over to a dozen and a half places to reach out to get these big sums of money. And the nonprofits are huge because they pick up money in some states where you may have problems finding the money. Get these big sums of money tonight and don't wait because you deserve it. And get that money because the average view of this channel has gotten about $45,000 in recent days. They're getting 12 months at $2,000. Get these big sums of money today. Do not wait. You deserve it. That is that MSC check. That is that check C. Where are we? That, my friends, was check C in our three checks. A third stimulus check, $24,000, $45,000. Third stimulus check, now law. How do you get these? Become a member. The membership links at the top of the chat in the pinned comment, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then watch for that newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. And get those applications on file. Every day you wait, thousands of people get in line in front of you. Do not wait. And here comes a tough love moment for me to you right now. In comparing the MSCs from this, which is Law, Third Stimulus, Check C, and the proposed MSCs for Fourth Stimulus Recon. Third stimulus recon MSCs are law, paying on average about $24,000 over 12 months. Many viewers averaging $45,000. So you got $45,000 now law. Let's look at the Build Back Better Acts checks. $7,000. $7,000, not law, and only six months of checks. Which would you rather have? $45,000 and $7,000. Would you wait around and twiddle your thumbs, w- thumbs and wait for $7,000 maybe to happen when you can get $45,000 today? No, you would not. Do not leave cash on the table. The economy is too uncertain. You're going to see it in just a second in the second half of this video. The economy is too uncertain. Even j Powell cannot predict this economy correctly. And with an uncertain economy, you want to get every check that's available when it's available. So get check C tonight. Get check B and A tonight. Become a member tonight and use Johnny as your inspiration. Remember Johnny's incredible story. He started watching this channel on a Monday. By Wednesday, he got three programs approved, 45000 And then by the end of the week, he got eight programs approved. Why did he get eight? Because he made 15 phone calls. He didn't stop. And he got $80,000. That is a true spirit of how this channel works. Now, a lot of breaking news across the board. When we talk about that war session, that is a problematic situation because the inflation that's kicking in is not solvable, says a lot of analysts tonight. 
Consumer confidence is dropping no, 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 not only in China. 31% of its economy thinks it cannot make rent this month, but also the Federal Reserve released new data just minutes ago that said consumer confidence in the United States is really at its worst levels of a generation because of inflation. But let me tell you where that inflation is going and where it's not going when we talk about six stimulus tonight. Six stimulus was to battle recession and it was to battle a series of items at issue. Let me explain what's at issue here because it's a little confusing for some. Six stimulus was the trifecta of Germany, France, and the United States to get off of Russian products, but also to do deficit spend to ensure that the citizens can afford the economies of scale. Let's explain the situation. Day one of the Vladimir Putin invasion of Ukraine, price of gasoline went up. The price of wheat and corn and your loaf of bread went to its highest levels of nearly 10 years. So the concept was to get off of those Russian products morally, said Anthony Blinken to Germany and France. He said morally, get off of those Russian products. They initially said, no, we can't because we'll go into recession. He said, you morally must get off of it. Now, Anthony, if you're watching tonight, morally means you have to give us something to fall back on. He hasn't. This is really a fallout by the White House. The White House was supposed to have six stimulus ready if we get off those Russian products. Well, we have gotten off the Russian products. Germany, not so, so yet. And the White House has not gotten a fall back. What were the fallbacks? Well, you need a series of items to be ready to rely upon. The first one is oil. You need a backup for that oil. We only have 3% of our oil coming from Russia, but a lot of our partner allies are dependent on the oil. Next, we need a backup for the wheat and grain. Do we have it? I'll have the latest details on that. Then we need a backup for the banking industry. Do we have a backup on that? We're seeing corporate earnings coming in this week and next week. We do not know if the corporate earnings will have a major line item loss because of exposure to Russian debt. So where is six stimulus tonight? I'm going to go over all the details a lot of breaking developing details on each of those items starting right now. The first one, which of course you saw on our hit new show, LA Live, last night, is that Macron did not win last night. On Saturday evening, Macron, the president of France, learned that he did not easily win re-election. He was sent into a runoff that will be determined later this month. And that is with the right-wing alternative candidate. Wow. So remember that trifecta of Germany, France, and the United States? You want to see if Macron was re-elected. He wasn't. Doesn't kill six stimulus, but it doesn't make it international at the moment. So we'll see what happens with Macron later this month. That's number one. Number two, we have the PPI and CBI number coming out of China, and this is really bad. Remember, one of the items I always talked about with six stimulus was if we have supply chain disruption, can't get the products out of China, for whatever reason it is, then we need six stimulus. Tonight, we can't get the products out of China. Well, guess what? Because China is suffering a major economic battleground. And that battleground is one we've known before. It's called COVID-2022. China is now suffering another wave. This is the sixth wave of COVID and it's tightening restrictions domestically. And those restrictions are now causing supply chain disruption. Very simple. You're telling people to stay home. Then you don't have a truck. You don't, you don't have a truck to truck the, the goods to the supermarket or truck the goods to the port. The goods can't land here. Then we don't have our goods. The prices go up. Not just in China, also in the United States. So we're getting the PPI number and CPI number in the next 48 hours in the United States. But I have the Chinese numbers overnight. PPI number, too high. 8.3%. They're looking at 7.9%. Again, this is inflation number. It beat the number. It's too high. It's going higher. CPI number, 1.5 versus 1.2. This is because these numbers are certainly surging out of control. That is that item. Then we look at the price of oil. This is where it gets fascinating tonight, folks. The price of oil dropped today, but it's not good news. I'll tell you why. This is where you want to tune into this channel because this is where it gets very, very elaborate. The President of the United States released part of the strategic reserves of gasoline for the United States two weeks ago. How many? What did the President do? He released 1 million barrels a day for six months. That's 180 million barrels. Then that was supposed to solve the situation to bring down the price of gasoline internationally. I said it would not, and it did not. So then what happened over the weekend? The International Energy Agency said that it would get its member countries to release among themselves 
120 more million barrels, of which 60 coming from the United States. Good news. That brings us to an additional about a half million barrels per day coming from the International Alliance, the Western Allies. Does that work against Vladimir Putin? 100% not. Why? Because Vladimir Putin counts for 3 million barrels of gasoline per day. We only have between the deal of the White House and the IEA deal, 1.5 million barrels. We're only halfway there. So the situation is troubling. Then why did the price of gasoline go down if the data is bad? The reason why the price of gasoline internationally, the Brent crude, dropped to $98, the best number we've seen since day one of the invasion of Ukraine, and why the West Texas Intermediate crude shredded to $93 a barrel is because of, guess what? You're going to hear me say it again. China. Oil traders trade down the price of gasoline because they think that China's going to go on lockdown. And if they go on lockdown, they're not driving their cars. They don't need oil. The demand for oil will cause a glut. There'll be too much oil and not enough consumption because China consumes a lot of oil. And that's why the price of oil went down, not because of the release of oil, because of the concerns about China. It continues to unravel one after another. Then when we look at the price of wheat and grain corn, this is where I'm deeply concerned across the board. While this is not a China part of the equation, this is also a Western allies part of the equation. 80% of grain services Egypt and lots of other ally countries. And guess what? There's no grain available out of Ukraine because they're battling a war. And the war is not going to be one week. It's not going to be one month. I said that day one. It's now going to be potentially several months. Crop this season, gone. Crop next season, gone. Maybe several seasons to go are going to be gone. And that's keeping the price of wheat and grain, your price of loaf of bread, a breakfast seal, at the market as highest level generation. No one, repeat, no one in the White House is even looking at this equation. It's deeply troubling because while we most of us drive cars, I can't say all of us drive cars. We all have our carbs, unfortunately. <laughs> can't live without your carbs, your coffee, or internet. <laughs> so we got to get our carbs. And if we can't afford our carbs, then guess what? Do we lose our carbs? No, we still eat our carbs. We just pay more for our carbs because we have to. Have <laughs> we got to eat our carbs. I mean, a carb shortage, supply chain shortage, we will still pay for it? No, we'll go into recession. No one can afford a seven dollar loaf of bread, and that is why the situation is unraveling. Amidst amidst all this really troubling news tonight, good news out of the White House and seven stimulus. The U.S. Department of Education tonight, April eleventh, twenty twenty two, announced that it will take student loan debt for student loan borrowers who are federal student loan borrowers out of default and make their accounts current. This is huge. This comes after the White House's announcement last week that it's not going to make a determination on student loan debt until September, rolling it over. The Education Department says the borrowers now, as of tonight, April 11th, this is breaking news tonight, will have a fresh start and that the repayment eliminating the impact of delinquency and default, allowing them to re-enter the payment in good standing. Let me translate this for you tonight. Number one, I had told you that by May 2nd, the White House will make a determination whether to forgive student loan debt, do nothing, or roll it over. He chose the rolling over to September. But tonight, there's an add-on, another part of the equation I did not see coming because it's a surprise to all of us. The president will take anyone out of default status and make you current. So if you had student loan debt due, you were sent into default, you will be brought out of default and be made current, and you don't have to make your payment on your debts at least until September, because we're still under moratorium. Again, this is federal borrowers, and I've had great questions from viewers who said, you're no longer a student. doesn't matter. If you're a student 10 years ago, 20 years ago, if you're a federal student loan borrower, and you were in default, and you haven't repaid the payments, it's huge. Big details. I'll be staying with this story throughout the next days, because it is changing by the hour. Now, let's go over the other situation unfolding tonight, which is that world economies and world markets continue to struggle. The 10-year bond yield surging out of control. The mortgage rate surging out of control. The crypto market crashing down 5% with Bitcoin down 40, under $41,000. The housing market in a bubble with housing starts down four months in a row. Do you see a reoccurring trend line? I do. Let me explain to you my analysis tonight, and it's brand new for April 11, 2022. My analysis tonight is that 
the White House and the Federal Reserve has been misguided behind the eight ball too late in getting to solving situations. And the later that it doesn't solve the situation, the situation gets harder to solve. Not only difficult to solve, but much harder. Let me explain the situation tonight. Inflation was a problem when we came out of the pandemic or coming out of lockdown in early 2021, late 2021 and early 2022. We had people who were suddenly going out and driving their cars and going around and buying goods and suddenly there were no goods because there were no truckers when we were in a lockdown. And suddenly that supply just strange disruption raised up the price of simple goods like soap and shampoo. You understood that. That was supply chain of 2021. The immediate reaction would have been to ramp up production domestically to ensure supply chain is brought down. No one did it. So no one got the supply chain down in the U.S. economy as we came out of lockdown and we had a big demand. That inability to address that situation caused inflation, price inflation, goods inflation. So suddenly that price of soap was a lot more because we had no truckers in 2020 because we're all in lockdown. And when we came out of lockdown, then suddenly we all wanted to buy soap. The price had gone up. We should have ramped up production through different stimulus programs for the federal government. We didn't do that. And the supply chain was there. Supply chain disruption. Then, in late October 2021, I told you the biggest story of 2022 will be the Putin invasion of Ukraine if it happens. There was 100,000 Russian troops on the Ukrainian border at the time. It was October. It was Halloween. I said, you know what? I hope they have this one prepared. What did the White House do at the time? He reached out, Joe Biden, to his Treasury Secretary, said, I want you to analyze all the economic issues that will be impacted if Putin invades. Did the White House have a contingency plan lined up? It did not. With no contingency plan lined up, what happened then? Putin invaded. And then immediately the White House said, get off of Russian products. Morally, get off of Russian products. Well, we all knew that if food invaded, we would have to get off of Russian products. Was there a plan on this in October? No. Was there a plan on this day one of the invasion of Ukraine? No. Is there a plan on it tonight? No. You already saw on this recording that we're now month two of the invasion of Ukraine. And the reason why gasoline is down is not because there's more oil being released from strategic reserves. It's because there's thought that the Chinese lockdown will decrease demand. Fascinating across the board, but not a solution for you. The price of gasoline, we will see if it remains low because of China. Thank goodness for us. But that, again, is no solution coming out of the White House. Remember, if China is no longer seen as a lockdown play, the price of gasoline goes right back up. Consumer goods still remain very high. Wheat, corn, and soybean. There's a 40% risk to going higher, says the analyst, and not betting on the price of the market. And this is why the items are going higher. We're not even to China's supply disruption. Because China is in its mode of quasi-lockdown right now, the sofa that comes from China, that goes to the port of Los Angeles, that goes on a truck to Kansas, can't get there, and suddenly the price goes up. This is why inflationary pressure continues to kick in. Now, if we just had that problem alone, we might be able to survive. But we have another added component, it's not the president's inability to solve wheat, corn, oil, or certain issues like that. It is Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve's wrong approach to the situation. We have Joe Biden who has not responded to the oil and wheat correctly, and then we have Jay Powell is responding to inflation the wrong way. Let me tell you what's going on with Jay Powell. Jay Powell and his group is absolutely obsessed with getting down inflation. You have to choose between two harms, inflation high or recession high. I told you this over a month ago. You can't have two things. You can't choose to reduce inflation if you don't understand you're going to have recession. So J. Powell chose to reduce inflation, and that's going to give you recession, number one. But here's what's worse tonight. He's not going to get inflation down. He's going to do something to try to get inflation down. He's going to give you recession, and he's still going to have inflation hot. Why? Because J. Powell and his group of governors do not understand that inflation is being caused by supply chain disruption. I made this recording every single day for over a, a month, and now tonight, for three consecutive nights, no less than three to five analysts per day are saying, Jay Powell does not have the tools to get inflation down. It's being caused by supply chain disruption. All he's going to do is raise your interest rates, and you're still going to have inflation. He's going to raise your interest rates, you're still going to have inflation, and guess what? You're going to recession because of it. 
I don't know what to say about it, folks. It doesn't make any logical sense. Let me explain what's going on. The fact that the product cannot get from China to you, because the fact that the product cannot get from the Port of Los Angeles to you, because the fact that the product cannot get on the train from the Midwest, from Kansas to Missouri, to you, is all supply chain disruption. Jay Powell has nothing to fix that. He's a Fed governor. He does things with interest rates. He doesn't have anything to do with the trucks, the ports, the shippers. He has nothing to fix that. All he's doing is raising interest rates. And in raising interest rates, what is he doing? He's causing the cost to borrow more expensive. You have student loan debt. You have a car payment. You uh, have a, a utility bill that's overdue. That all causes your bills to go up higher. Suddenly, you'll have inflation. If your price of goods are more expensive, and then your borrowing will go higher. The 30-year fix going higher. The inversion curve. The mortgage rates. You can't sell the home because the 5% mortgage rate no one can afford, the highest level of the 19, since the 1980s. You can't repair the home because of the cost of goods are not going down, the lumber and, and construction materials. The price of labor remains relatively hot. So Jay Powell, in analyzing the situation, is actually making it a lot worse. Wow. So tonight, what is my prediction for this U.S. economy? My prediction for this U.S. economy is that two industries are currently in recession, housing and auto sales. Auto sales are already dramatically down this year. They're going to get worse. They can't get the products. They can't sell the cars. The demand is going down. People have less value for their money because of inflation. They're not going to buy cars. The sales are already slumping dramatically. Big, big drop. The housing market's going in a bubble. Four, mo four months down of consecutive down sales, meaning if you try to sell your house, it's not selling. And this is as the mortgage rates go up highest level since the 1980s. No one's going to be able to afford a home at 5% mortgage rate. No one can. And then you try to flip the home, try to repair it, try to build a new home. You can't. Price of goods are going too high. Finally, we have the bubble mentality where people say, oh, the average condo in New York is $6 million. Who cares about mortgages? They're all paying by cash. That is bubble-like talk. We saw that with the tech bubble of the 1990s. Whoever said, it's all going to be perfect forever and ever. I went to one of those parties in the 1990s. I got to tell you, they had unlimited ribs for six hours. Mm -hmm. I knew by the end of that party, it was going to go under. <laughs> By about the six-hour mark, the, the business declared bankruptcy. I'm not joking. You can't afford to get that many ribs for free. And you can't afford to think that there's $6 million of cash in everyone's pocket to buy condos in New York. That is a bubble environment. If you want to know what that business was called, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so there you go. The housing market and the auto industry are in recession. What would be next? Well, the rest of the U.S. economy, in my prediction, will be in recession by 2023 for a two-year recession. And this is because no one can fix the supply chain. No one is trying to fix the supply chain. No one's trying to do anything with the supply chain. And when the Treasury Secretary does nothing, when the press secretary to Joe Biden says, well, you know, the CPI and the PPI number were released this week, it's all because of Putin. Uh, I got to tell you, I want to look at her and say, honey, you are so out of bounds on that one. Putin is part of the reason for supply chain disruption, part of the reason for inflation. But we had inflation before Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. And no one fixed it then because no one fixed the supply chain. And now we have China with its lockdown concerns. And we're not China and we can't fix their concerns. But we can also fix the ports and we can also fix the shippers. We haven't fixed that here. We've not increased production amongst our farmers. There are certain things we can do. We have done nothing for these items here across the board. That is why my focus for you tonight is, as it always has been, the following expression, as I've always said it. Cash checks don't track checks. You don't want to sit around and wonder, where is that check from a bill that's not a law? You don't want to wonder where there's that check that hopefully will come and hopefully land. You want to cash Every check that's available tonight. A $6,500 check is available tonight. A stimulus check. You get it. You get it right away. You don't wait a second. If you own a home, you go get it right tonight. A fifteen dollars to $80,000 check for a homeowner, you get it right tonight. You don't wait. And if you don't rent, but you, if you don't own, but you rent, you go get this $24,000 check tonight. And understand, it's a lot more than $24,000 for a lot of viewers. On average, $45,000, upwards of $150,000.
the way in which you're going to send yourself down the wrong steps is thinking that this economy is like 2020. It is not. 2020 was an environment in which we had Mitch McConnell saying the economy is great and we're all saying the economy is bad. Tonight, you have a series of, of data points where the economy looks really good. The unemployment numbers, the best numbers since the 1960s. And then you have certain parts of the economy that look absolutely horrible. Inflation out of control, recessionary pressures growing. And then you have certain elements where it doesn't fit into a mold. Recession means generally that inflation drops. Recession means costs generally drop. That is why the person earlier today said it's a war session. It's an element that we've never seen before because we've never had a recession with a war that's impacting us domestically. It's all compounded because we're coming off of a lockdown. We're coming off of a stalled economy that tried to jumpstart. And then we have a war. And then we have another lockdown happening in China at the same time. You see how elaborate that is? It's not as simple as 2020 when you had one event, a lockdown, and it's interrupting our economy. Now we have the economy interrupted by a lot of different things, but doing well in other price points. Cash those checks. Become a member. Go to the top of the chat right now and go under the videos and get that membership. Get every single darn check you can get. My job is to find every check for you when it becomes law. I don't want you to think about a check that's in the future, that's $7,000, that might maybe possibly happen for six months, when you can get $24,000 of those checks for 12 months right tonight. I don't want you to think about something in the immediate future that you may have heard about or thought about or seen when this is a reality right in front of you. If there's checks on the table, you grab them. You cash them. Not five days from now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now, right tonight. At 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, every night, America's most watched show for financial news, it's Evening's All Light. Throughout the night, when more shows continue, we have Evening's Countdown at 6 o'clock, then Stream Simulus at 7. 8 o'clock is Evening's Extra, and then Sunrise, Sunset at 9 o'clock. With that, I hope you became a member, I hope you took notes, and I hope you pounce on all these incredible checks. Of more economic data this week as the CPI number and the PPI number are released. Stay informed, stay focused, stay positive, stay motivated, and cash every check when it becomes available. Stay up out late this evening and stay throughout the night. And I'll see you tomorrow morning on Mornings Out of Light. <laughs>